so far in just three months, we particularly with the work with Child Poverty Action Group on the early warning system, what we found is that by having that kind of um, access and engagement with frontline advisors, we were kind of um, being able to kind of capture problems before they even kind of really emerged or before people seem to be aware of them in the kind of policymaking community. So we had examples around problems with the universal credit telephone lines, for example, which obviously we, we now know and we would we perhaps anticipate, but we were hearing about them and we were able to share them with DWP who um, were able to use them to kind of inform their policymaking response. But I think much more kind of substantially and I guess more um, richly in terms of kind of the social science kind of understanding of poverty, what we've really developed insight into is how kind of the conditions of lockdown have kind of changed people's mechanisms and strategies for kind of getting by in poverty. So we're interested in both people's experiences in poverty um, who are already in poverty before the crisis, as well as those who are kind of pushed into poverty through the crisis. But looking particularly at that first group, what we found is that how um, the kind of budgetary strategies that people use to manage on a low income so for example shopping regularly going to like the reduced aisles of supermarkets to kind of get the best deals all of those things have been kind of made impossible by the kind of demands of lockdown which has also put real additional pressures on um, parents and carers particularly who are maybe having to homeschool children who are facing additional electrical costs um, because of that another thing that we found which is really important and we're really hoping to kind of um, engage policymakers with is just the shortcomings with the kind of charitable food aid response so very much the social security response being um, insufficient but then also emergency food provision causing real problems and problems in terms of food provision not being suitable but also in terms of people experiencing that need for provision in ways that really embed and kind of um, increase the kind of guilt and stigma that we often hear and we know are associated with poverty.